You just had a live hit uh, for what? For hometown hockey? Let's go to George Stropolopoulos at Hockey Center's like top cheddar for Colby Armstrong. These, some of these guys are dudes. freaks. They're huge, and they're athletes, and they're ripped, and I'm fat, and <laughs> a skinny fat guy sitting in the room, and these guys are coming as 18-year-olds into the NHL, and they're freaks, and uh, they had to spend lots of time with them uh, at the start of their young careers. Yeah, but they ran more than you. That's the difference, yeah, right? I mean, exactly. I mean, Jordan kept uh, complaining about uh, Dick Todd making him run five miles every morning, so I guess that's what I had to do. I didn't do that. What did you run towards? <laughs> I had to run McDonald's usually. <laughs> <That's what> you <laughs> We'd like to present you with an acorn for your excellent work today. That's about what I deserve. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. I feel nervous. My first time with George and sitting in the red chairs. Uh, obviously popular on Sundays and the, hockey night. The last time we communicated with each other in a public space, he was playing for the Leafs and I was sitting right behind the glass and he came over for a glass of water and I was trying to give him that Habs eye while he was playing for the Leafs and he noticed. I gave him a head nod like but he was like pretending like I didn't because I think he just didn't want to be a distraction but I saw George sitting there and I, I was like oh cool and then after the game I tweeted at him to stay away from us like it's you know you're playing for the Leafs and you got a Habs fan sitting that close you can you can smell it you know. You tweeted though you brought your Habs stank to the game and then what happened a year later Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah.